kind of stuff. Here's what we're going to learn. In this first part, we are going to learn how to add and subtract and multiply, but not divide, functions. It's not as tricky as you might think. Uh, one of the things we're going to have to learn is how to read it. Because, um, you know, like this function right here is 3x squared minus 2x plus 5, right? And this one's 5x plus 4. Well, a lot of times you could write adding the two functions like this, but this means the same thing. And, and here's what people always misunderstand. They think that this means like distribute x to both of those, but that's not what this means at all. This just means add the function f and g when x is just equal to x. Whereas how this is different, this is different. It says to figure out what is f plus g when x equals 2. So this right here means the same thing as that. All right, so should we do it? Let's get let's get started. Let's do this one right here. <coughs> Whoa, bless you. So these okay. two things these two things are the same, right? Uh, the book and the test it will write the instructions like this, and you have to know how to read it. I I won't explain to you what that means on test day. You have to know that that just means you're going to add these two functions together for the value of x. That's it. So let's do that. So f plus g of x. It's not it's not multiplying. These things are not multiplying. Like like you know how like f of x is not f times x. That just means like that's y, right? So that's what this is. It's just you add those two together, and that's our new function. So it's like we have soon some new function that's not been named yet, and it's equal to these two things added. So all you gotta do f is 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 and g is 5x plus 4. So all you got to do is do that thing that begins with a c and ends with unbind like terms. Dang. So that's the only x squared term, so 3x squared. So this function right here, this new function, is going to be 3x squared. And then I see a minus 2 and a plus 5. That makes 3. Because 5 minus 2 is 3, right? You're not going to do, don't do this. This this would make me sad if you did plus 2 and plus 2. That That's 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 sad. That That's not what you do. Right? So they're, they're on the same side. You can just rearrange them. It's the commutative property. Who's out there? Oh, is it Alexa? Yeah. So you could just rearrange it. It's the commutative property. And then 5 and 4 is 9. That's it. You're done. So when you add these two together, Add these two functions together, really, really easy. The only thing you're going to have trouble with, Edgar, the only thing anybody ever has trouble with with this, other than little mistakes, is reading and understanding what that means. Okay? You won't see this. You'll see this. They mean the same. Questions? So what do you think the difference between this one and this one is? Yeah, that's it. This just means replace x with 2. That's it. You could do it first. You could put 2 in first and then evaluate both and then add them together. Th does that make sense, Ivan? Like like you could do f of 2 first and see what number that would be. And then you could do g of 2 first and add and then see what that number would would be. And then you could add those together. Or you could add the functions together first and then plug in the 2. Since we already added the functions, let's do that. So let's do f plus g of 2. That's going to be 3 times 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 9. So 4, right? Order of operations. 4 plus, sorry, 4 times 3 is that, that's 12, right? Plus 6 plus 9 is that 18 plus 9. I think that, I think we got this. Awasha. Veinte seven. Twenty siete. Done. So adding, no problems. No problems. And then if you understood the function stuff from last week, um, or was it Tuesday, then this is the same thing. Same notation, whatever's in the parentheses, that's what you replace x with. And then you just do the arithmetic. So we good? OK. Subtraction's trickier. Because with subtraction, well, the order matters, right? So let's let's talk about subtraction. 
So when you're talking about subtraction, you know how like 5 minus 3 is not the same as 3 minus 5? The order matters big time. And so when we're going to do these functions, f minus g is not going to be the same as g minus f. You have to put it in an order. So whatever one's written first, that's which one you put first. Okay, so let's do both of these. Uh, wait, what was x? f of x, 3x squared. So this is going to be 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. And then it's minus, and then we need parentheses because we're subtracting the whole thing. If you don't put parentheses, then all you're going to do is you're going to end up subtracting the 5x. Okay, so I don't know, maybe I'll write them over here just so we have them still. Was that Alexa that came in? What was that? I, I didn't understand what you said, Edgar. Oh, yeah. I thought it was. It wasn't? Ooh, yeah. It probably was a ghost. Okay. Now, check this out. This is right. Okay? This is how you do it. You're subtracting, you're subtracting all of this function. If you don't put the parentheses, then what you're going to do is you're going to do minus 5x and plus 4. But with the parentheses, of course, that means you're subtracting it all, so it's going to be 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 minus 5x minus 4, right? So then, combine like terms, you're done. 3x squared, let's see, minus 2 and minus 5, that's minus 7, yeah? Plus 1, because 5 minus 4 is 1, so... D-O-N-E finished. Yeah? yeah? Now the other way, the other way, this one means you're going to put g first. So so this one right here means you're going to put g first. So it's 5x plus 4 minus, and then you need your parentheses, 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. So you're going to distribute the negative 1, and then you're going to combine like terms. Done. So this is what g minus f will look like. Ivan, uh, do you want me to work this out, or do you think you're okay with like how to do that? Uh, let me try it first, because I think I can do it by myself. Okay, then don't look. Don't look. I'll, I'll freeze it. I'll work. There's this thing here that we got to do. It's called standard form. Standard form means like you want the biggest term first, the biggest exponent first. So it's alphabetical, and then, well, this is x squared, and this one's just x, so we want the x squared first. Did you get that, Ivan? Negative 3x squared plus 7x minus 1? I got negative 3x squared uh, plus 3x minus 9. Let me see what. what oh, happened. I know what happened. Um, yeah. Oh, this is a plus Six, four. Seven, yeah. That's a plus, not a minus four. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. You got it? What? So you want your answers in standard form? They're not wrong if you don't, but you're going to make mistakes. So put them in standard form like this. So like, like this is not standard form. It's the same thing, but it's not standard form. You want it to be in order. So you want the, the biggest exponent first, and then the smaller ones after that. Does that make sense to you guys? Man, we're just rocking and rolling then. OK, uh, last thing we're going to do on this one, we're going to multiply. It's a cow's favorite math. It's multiplication. They like to multiply. But they don't know how to add. So they have to use a, you know what they, you know what they use to add, Edgar? They use a, a cows. They use a, a 
calculator. Uh, <laughs> I, I, know. I know, I told you, I'm the sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. Okay, so <laughs> this is not the notation you'll see for multiplication. That's what multiplication means, of course, but that's not the notation you're going to see. What you're going to see is you're going to see this. And that's a dot. It's not a circle, right? Because this means something different, and we're going to learn that later. It looks like the word fog, but that that is different. So we're not going to we're not going to worry about this for now. But it is something you're going to see. And I'll just scratch it out so it looks like your picture in the yearbook. So these two things mean the same. You won't see this notation. You're going to see this notation. Now our two functions were let's see, let's write them down one more time. 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 and 5x plus 4, yeah? Okay, so multiplication, it doesn't matter which one goes first when you multiply, right? Like 5 times 3 is the same as 3 times 5, so whatever goes first, no big deal. So let's multiply these two together. I'm going to show you like the way you probably already know, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to show you a new way. Listo? Okay, now we're going to set it up with parentheses. So I would like to put this one first, 5x plus 4, and then this one second. But I would like to put the smaller one first because for me it's easier to, to distribute like this. Now, do you see the 5x? It has to multiply by everything over there, like all of it. And so does the plus 4. It has to multiply by everything. So we could maybe try to be lazy and do it in our head but I'll probably mess it up. So, I mean, we have our midterm coming up. So I think good habits that prevent us from making silly mistakes are probably good to establish now. So this is what I would do. If I were you and I was taking, I was getting ready, this is how I would do it. I would go ahead and write out 5x times all of that and then plus 4 times all of that. Like that, you see? And then you distribute and combine like terms. So 15x cubed, that's those two, right? Minus 10x squared plus 25x plus, oops, 12x squared minus 8x plus 20. Right? After you distribute, you always do that thing that begins with a C and ends with combine like terms. There's only 1x cubed, so it's 15x cubed, but I have negative 10 and positive 12, so that's 2x squared, right? And then the x's, 25 minus 8, I think that's 17, I hope it is. I'm really tired, it's been a long day. And the constant, this is called the constant, the number at the end without a variable is 20. So this was f times g of x. That's it. Ivan, that way is kind of ugly, though, right? Yeah. F times G of X. But like, like, like taking this and then writing it all out like that, it's it gets kind of sloppy and it gets kind of messy. This one turned out to be pretty easy. The numbers weren't too ugly. But but Edgar, uh, last thing I'm going to show you on this quick lesson, I'm going to show you another way to multiply these two together. It's going to be cool. You ready? Okay, watch out. Watch. You see how there's one, two, three terms? That would be like a three-digit number, like 312. And you see how there's two terms? That would be like a two-digit number, like 27. You know how you multiply these, right? You do 7 times 2 is 14. Carry the 1. Let's see, 7, 8, and then 21, right? And then what do you do after you, after you take care of the 7? What do you have to do before you do the 2? With column multiplication. put the zero, right? It's a placeholder. So now I put the zero and then I do two times two is four, two times one is two, two times three is six, and then you just add them up, right? We're going to do that style with this. Ready? It's going to be bombdiggityom.com. Okay. So I'm going to put the three digit, or the three, the trinomial is what it's called. It's got three terms, the trinomial on top. I'm going to put the binomial on the bottom, and we're going to multiply. We're going to do the same exact way as before. You ready? 
Check this out, Ivan. 4 times 5 is 20. And it's a positive 20, right? And then 4 times negative 2x, well, that would be negative 8x, right? 4 times 3x squared, 12x squared. I took care of the 4, it's done. Now the 2, or now the 5x, but you got to put a 0, right? Your placeholder. And check this out. You see how that's 25x? And you see how it's already lined up with this x right there? That's what we want. And now 5 times negative 2, well, that's negative 10x squared. And 5 times 5x times 3x squared, 15x cubed. Right? Add them up. 20, 17, 2, 15. Same answer either way. I think that's way easier. You can do it either way you want. Man. That was a lot, huh? Okay, we're going to practice some.